Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to do a beautiful, glowy and fresh complexion. At first I wanted to do this video all about the skin and give you all the details about how to create this very fresh looking skin. But then I figured, you know, I should continue with the rest of the makeup like this very simple eye look and then glossy lips so I end up doing like a full video with the whole look but it's more focused on the complexion in this video I'm giving you a lot of tips and tricks about how to have a beautiful glowy complexion if you want it to be also long-lasting how to apply that highlighter before we get into it make sure you've subscribed to my youtube channel that you've clicked on that ring bell button so that you'll be notified when i'm posting new videos i'm usually posting about two videos per week also wanted to mention that the list with all the products that i was using including details about like what i'm wearing or jewelries that i might have you can find them all in my description box now if you'd like to see how to create this beautiful glowy fresh looking skin then please keep on watching. I will use this Believe the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I was amazed by the reviews of this cream. Like people are going crazy about it. This is like a gel texture, extremely light on the skin. And it's very, very good to be applied under the makeup. Like your foundation is going to last very well. I'm also going to use the Believe Moisturizing Eye Bomb. I take a pinch of this product, sort of pushing the cream into the skin. I've just bought this Tom Ford Glow Drops and it's just so pretty. I'm not sure if I'm going to apply it like all over the face or I'm going to mix it with the foundation. It's a beautiful product, has a nice sheen. I think I'm going to mix it with my foundation just to give it a more luminous glowy look i will be using dior forever skin glow foundation then i'm applying the glow drops on top mixing it together then applying it directly onto the skin with my fingers dotting it like this i'll take my cat Von D brush and just spread this all over even if this is a very glowy foundation, it sets very fast, which is very surprising because usually glowy foundations, they kind of move around. So I suggest you to apply it pretty fast. Now this might not be everybody's cup of tea because it's quite glowy and it can be translated as greasy. But don't worry, we did not powder yet. On the back of my hand, I've applied Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light sand and then a light medium. And then on top, just a little bit of these glow drops from Tom Ford. With my finger, I'm applying this mixture under my eyes. Then with the Sephora 57 brush, this has been like my go-to concealer brush. What's left on the brush, I apply it on the eyelid. Before I powder everything, I'm going to use this cheek tint from Jillian Dempsey. This is in the color Petal. It looks like this. This is such a pretty color. I'm going to take it with a tiny little beauty sponge. This is from, this is from Fenty Beauty. Right in the middle of my cheek. The placement of the blush is not the same for everybody. I find that when you apply the blush with a sponge or a brush, it's much easier. When I do courses with uh, some of you in Paris, I can tell that whenever you guys are applying the liquid blush or the bronzer with your fingers, it kind of grabs the product underneath. So I think that the easiest way is to apply it with a beauty blender, with a beauty sponge. There is no rule in the steps of applying bronzer, blush, or highlighter. I feel like a lot of people would prefer to apply highlighter so that, you know, it, it's easier for them to see the placement for the bronzer. Or some people apply the bronzer first. I just got used on applying the blush first. So I like to apply the, the blush, then I apply my bronzer, and then I come with more blush if necessary. 
All right, next I'm going to use the bronzer. I'll use this NARS Laguna liquid bronzer. I'm going to take this Fenty Beauty sponge. Again, I will apply, I normally like to apply this product with a brush. For me, it's much easier and it's less of a product. But I, I've noticed, like I said, that most of you prefer and you are doing better if you're applying with a sponge. You have to sort of let the sponge do the job. Don't press too much. You don't need to do like a perfect shape right here. We are not looking for that. This is just a bronzer. It's going to give a little bit of color, warmth into the skin. Now it's time to set everything with powder. If you feel like your skin is too oily to, at this point, I suggest you to use a touch of powder all over the face. Focus on the uh, parts where your your skin produces more sebum but apply a very thin layer all over the face now for those of you ladies who have very dry skin dehydrated who absolutely love the glow you can apply powder like in just some spots some parts of the skin to still have that glow but to also make sure that around the eyes your makeup is nice and set and it will not move I'll use my Laura Mercier powder the translucent blue setting powder and instead of using a big brush this is for now I'm doing it for those of you who actually love the glow okay and want to keep that glow so I'll use this tiny little B021 brush from Hakuhoro you can use any tiny focus brush, even a blending brush, a 217 from MAC, that would work too. I basically come and set my concealer, because that's what interests me the most, to set the concealer. I don't want that concealer to move around, to crease. So I'm setting my concealer, and also right here. It bothers me a lot when I shine in here. Like, this makes me look old and greasy, like you see right here. <gasps> It's driving me crazy. All around the mouth area, that's where you want to set the makeup because you have a lot of movement in here, okay? So you want to make sure your foundation is going to last. Now you see if I turn around, I still have this beautiful glow which I absolutely love actually. I talk so much about glowy complexion but guys, please let me know if you want me to do a, a very matte complexion, a very long-lasting complexion because I know not everybody's looking for a glowy complexion and I don't want uh, somebody to feel like she's being left out. So if you have oily skin, please leave me a comment. Let me know. I will do a whole tutorial for oily skin products that are long lasting, okay? I like to apply a little bit of highlighter and I'm gonna use this one that's broken. This is from NARS. I know that I can fix it, okay? I know. I just need to get some alcohol. Uh, this is Fort de France highlighter. It's such a beautiful highlighter. I'll take it with an Anastasia A23 brush and you see where I already have this glow. I'll just apply a little bit more. So I apply the highlighter on the cupid's bow, on the bridge of the nose, I like it on my forehead. If you don't like it on your forehead, you don't have to apply highlighter in there. I kind of like it. I have a tiny forehead, so this is going to give the illusion of a bigger forehead. We all have our own problems, okay? If you have very large pores, stay away from the highlighter around this area. It's only going to emphasize your large pores. Tip about the highlighter, when you apply a powder highlighter on top of a surface that is a little bit moisturize that's a little bit greasy the highlighter is going to grab on it and it's going to look so much stronger so be aware of this fact when you're applying the highlighter it's going to sort of glue on your skin on the surfaces where you haven't powdered my note in this case so just pay attention don't apply too much I've done my eyebrows off the camera. I have a lot of videos about how I do my eyebrows. I will use this ColourPop. Guys, I love ColourPop so much. I was amazed by the quality of the product. They don't have like spectacular packaging, but for a makeup lover, you know, that can appreciate the makeup quality, not necessarily the packaging, it doesn't even matter. matter. Everything that I've tried from ColourPop is like amazing. I have this super shock shadow the color is amaze and alex could you please get me closer please 
This is so not me. I want to get closer. That would be more like me. Closer. Closer. I want to show you how beautiful this eyeshadow is. So this is a maze. So check this out. I just take this eyeshadow with my fingers. I don't apply a crazy amount, okay? So I take it with my fingers, but then I sort of blend it. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. I love this eyeshadow. Go check it out. ColourPop, you will love it. Super Shock shadow in the color Amaze. That's what I was using. Because I have such small eyes, I feel like whenever I apply something at the base of my lower uh, lid, it sort of makes my eyes look bigger. So I just have this palette from Marc Jacobs next to me. You do not need a new palette, okay? Follow my voice. You do not need a new eyeshadow palette, okay? You have plenty, I'm sure. With a SMAC 228 brush, I'm just gonna take this color right here. I'm applying it at the outer corner of my eye. I do one line right here and the other one right here, okay? And now I just blend this color. Nothing crazy, guys, just a little V. It's going to make my eyes look more of an almond shape. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'll use this eyelash curler, a Sephora eyelash curler. Now I'm going to use this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm going to contour my lips with this lip liner. This is Oak from MAC, my good old Oak. Then I will take this Nude Envy Lip Gloss in Affection. It's a very pretty color. Wow, that's a big applicator. <laughs> the color is to die for. It's uh, one of those uh, juicy effect gloss. Oh my god, I love this lip gloss. Should we apply a little bit of that? I want more of uh, rosy cheeks. Ray Beam Mineralized, Mineralized Blush from MAC with a 127 brush from Zoeva. I'm going to use this device. This is a nano spray. I think that's the name of it. A lot of you asked me when I was using it in my previous videos. You can find this on Amazon. I bought it from a store in Paris. It's called uh, Plan Fat, but you can find it much cheaper on Amazon. So I totally recommend you to buy it from there. So basically what this does is transforms the molecule into a nano molecule. You see? I'm trying not to inhale this. I've put some MAC Fix Plus in here. What this is going to do is going to melt the powder in case you've applied too much or in case you need a little bit more hydration. Just put your favorite setting mist or your favorite rose mist or whatever you want. Alright guys, this is my fresh and glowy complexion look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to click on that ring bell button. This is the only way you're going to be notified whenever I'm posting new videos. And please feel free to comment. Let me know if you want videos about oily skin, like a long-lasting base. I like to do videos for you guys, so it would be very helpful if you would give me ideas as well. I'm very sorry about the noise in the background. You should absolutely follow me on my Instagram. I'm very active in there as well and I post a lot about makeup and Paris and food. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Do you guys like my new background? And then I will be applying the glow... I feel pretty! Give me your best. No, I'm kidding. I had two coffees today, so I might be extra hyper today. Mortanesco! Pictures. Red, I'm talking to you.